it's Sunday the 23rd we're gonna go out here to one of the areas and try to get an uh, idea of how these uh, new bullets that we picked up from what Winchester are gonna react to our or how they're gonna come out of the gun we normally shoot the uh, Winchester's these are the uh, power points I believe they're XT or XR or something like that so I wanted to get out here today and, and uh, shoot if we can get out here without uh, having any cows or anything like that in this field we'll be alright but kinda got a feeling there's gonna be cows out there we'll see I wanted to uh, kind of compare these two bullets, see how accurate they are. These are a, a, a Teflon tip, I believe, um, or a, like a uh, like a Teflon point. So they're a little bit different, a little faster than the power points with the lead tips that I shoot. So we're shooting the 270, the Savage 270. Uh, it's a wood stock, pretty heavy gun. I've got a bipod on it. And it's set up with a uh, Cabela's uh, caliber. The scope's basically made for the 270. So it's when I set it up last year, it was pretty accurate. Um, so we're just going to uh, hopefully have a, a lane here that we can set a target out to about 300 maybe, and see if we can even. The scope is not real powerful, so it's got mills out to 700, but 700, I mean, you wouldn't have to have an elk target to, to make a 700 yard shot with this, with this, uh, with this scope. It's just not, the magnification's just not there for that, that long of a distance, so. So we're going to go ahead and get our target on here so we don't have to dig, mess around with that down there. It's not even windy. There's no wind at all, so that's good. Well, we got the target set up, and our first uh, first shot's going to be at 500. We're just going to go for it. See if we even hit anything. If we do, we'll stay there. If we don't, we're going to move up to 300 and try it from there. We're going to get our spotting scope set up here so we can see where we're hitting. Well, that's kind of worthless because you can't see. We've got too many heat waves down there, so... Use this for the bud of our... gun. Alright, well, we're just going to go for it. 500 yards here and see what happens. See if we hit paper at all. <laughs> sure, that hit. Put the camera behind me. <clears throat> Zoom it out there. Well, this is the last hurrah. We finally got sighted in at uh, 100 and 200. So it should, according to caliber specific, it should hit at 500. Okay. 
450 first. Let's see if we're on paper. We have zero wind, so. Like something whacked anyway. Uh, I'm gonna put my 500 the base of it. We're not quite 500. walk down there just got my phone my other camera took a crap on me I'd be really excited if uh, we actually hit paper with this because first time we came we set up and I thought this thing was set up pretty good. But uh, we didn't spend much time with that new scope when we got it. We just came out and shot a couple at 100 yards and called it a day. But uh, not sure if it's the way I was set up or what the deal was but we were not even close I know that because at 200 yards I wasn't even I was hitting just the right the left corner of the target or the board so at 500 I was way off that could still be the case here but we uh we have no no wind and we sighted in at 200 on the 200 dot then we went up to 100 and made sure that 100 was dialed in and it was it was hitting I think I had to go two clicks over to the to the right and maybe one or two down but other than that it was within the the ring the center ring so I put three in there at 100 yards pretty tight and figured that if I'm hitting almost center at 200 and then I go in and dial in it at 100 the rest of it we should be we should be good I don't know if my theory was right or not but I wanted to shoot 200 get that that because uh, this is calibration calibrated for the 270 and my bullet weight 130 grain was uh, pretty much dead on with their with their uh, ballistic sheet so these uh, new ones might be a little faster I'm sure they're quite a bit faster actually but uh, probably more accurate too more center more accurate downrange I'm sure but uh, I would just be happy to hit this three or four inch piece of paper by six or eight inches wide. Anywhere on that paper would be good for me at 500 yards. So I think that's a bullet hole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we hit paper. Awesome. Okay, so right here, we hit paper. 
Now the first one that I shot was at uh, 450. I think that might have been it. The second one I shot was the 500 mark. So I think I went, went over the top of it with that one. But this 450, because I don't see any new ones here. Unless that's a new one. I don't think it is, though. But anyway, we hit that at 500. 450, 500. So that's good. We're, we're on paper at 400, 500. So this will probably be our last, uh, our last time out for a little bit with the rifle. We got the uh, antelope coming up here in about a week. Anyway, we got that coming up, so stay tuned. We got a week here. I got everything pretty much prepped. I'll have to get everything prepped again here now. I got everything out to, to shoot today, but that's all right. I like to keep everything pretty real around here on this channel. There's no no sponsor, no uh, agendas or private properties or anything like that. I'm just an average guy like all y'all. And I go out and do my average thing. So, anyway, thanks for watching Public Side Outdoors. We'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe out there, everybody in your hunts.